Social justice advocacy in the field of counseling allows for clinicians to cultivate empowerment of individuals as well as promoting philosophical, ethical, spiritual, and religious values within the profession and academia. A social justice-oriented counselor prioritizes the rights and well-being of disadvantaged or underrepresented individuals as well as populations. The golden rule and overall goal of social justice-oriented counselors is to identify discriminatory or oppressive systems and replace them with policy and procedure that eradicate the injustices that have been identified. Hugh and Carrie Winchell convey the need to objectively take information from clients while recognizing their unique individuality. This means operating from an understanding that each individual has a unique experience and subsequently unique perception of what is just and right. For me, this makes the golden rule of counseling, in my opinion, to remove all presuppositions and preconceived notions and attempt to see the world not through your own worldview, but through the lens of your client so that you may better understand their unique experiences and outlook. It is through empathy towards an individual that we are made aware of the needs of a population that we are not a part of. The Bible verse that speaks to social justice counseling, in my opinion, is Romans chapter 12, verses 15 through 18. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no evil for evil. Give thought to do what is honorable and right in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. This scripture really speaks to me on the topic because it emphasizes what I believe to be the intent of social justice advocacy and counseling, to be present with the client and understand their journey and empathize with them while seeking to promote values and policy that can be perceived as honorable in the sight of all. Professionally, I work with and intend to work exclusively with the military population. Social justice advocacy in my work consists of identifying mental and emotional health issues that are specific to military service and advocating to create procedures and programs to raise awareness and create positive changes in policy that better address the needs of our service members and their family. Counselors are in a unique position to have the ability to see the world through a different lens. If what we are shown is an infringement of justice, or we believe that there is simply a better way to accommodate the needs of the population that we serve, we have an obligation to attempt to foster change.